All right, hi everyone. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. I hope you're all feeling good today. I'm feeling fine myself. And I've been looking forward to playing this part of the package, Bowser's Fury. I've been deliberately holding it off until I finished Mario 3D World, which I guess you could kind of say that I finished that game. Also, thank you very much, uh, Niki Gamer 19 for the host. But yeah, um, I was planning to finish Mario 3D World last night, but I couldn't quite beat Champions Road, but I really want to start Bowser's Fury. So we're going to do Bowser's Fury today, and then I guess sometime next week I'll try to finish Champions Road and 3D Worlds. So let's get going. Also, thank you very much for the follow as well, Niki. So yeah, I've heard that this experience is quite short. I'm going to go for 100% because apparently I can do that in about three streams, maybe four, depending on how long I play. Just gonna adjust the volume on my end here. There we go. So this is a more open-ended experience from what I've been seeing and it looks pretty good. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this like holds up and stuff because people have been saying that this is apparently the direction that the future Mario games may be taking. Of course it's short as a Mario game. Yeah, but it's still it's still fun, I would say, and some Mario games have replayability. Like 3D World took me seven sessions to get all the, the green stars and stuff. I don't care if an exp if an experience is short, just as long as it's like really like it's not so much the quantity but the quality of the experience, I guess. It's kind of weird that they're going back to like the Mario 3D World graphics after just like having played Odyssey a few years ago. Oh hey look, I wonder who put that there. So, I've been told that there's a hundred uh, cat shines in this game, so I'm going to try and get them all. You would need about 50 to finish the game, but I'm going to try and get every single one. I have to say though, the visuals look really fucking good. Like, you can see the rain hitting off of like Mario's clothing and everything. Nintendo's always really good at pushing the visuals on their platform. I can't triple jump, which kind of annoys me a little bit, because I, I like 3D Mario games where you can triple jump. Like, I, I keep forgetting that this is like Mario 3D World, not like Mario Odyssey. I'll get used to it, I guess. Oh, there he is. Big ol' boy. What's the name for the, the Bowser in this game? Is it like... Fury Bowser or something like that? Oh, shit. I suppose I could just do that. There we go. Cat Shane. One down, 99 to go. Yeah, his name is Fury Bowser. Also, welcome to the stream, Pixel. Just a small taste of things to come. Okay, okay that's pretty <laughs> That's pretty cool, that. Pixelated version of, like, uh, Fury Bowser. I like that. So, yeah, I've seen none of this shit outside of, like, the initial reveal trailer. That they showed, like, a couple, like, a few months ago. Or a couple months ago. I forgot when they showed it. It was back in January, I think, they showed, like, the, the reveal trailer for this game. So it wasn't that long ago. Again, this game just looks really nice. I mean, it's not that much different from Odyssey in terms of like how like drop dead gorgeous the visuals look. Like Nintendo really knows how to make things like really good looking. I've been saying that about Mario games since Galaxy. Like Galaxy, I, I guess Sunshine also looks really nice for the platform it was on. 
Don't mind me going backward, I'm just going to see if I missed anything. Because it seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff over here that I didn't properly explore. Actually, maybe there's nothing over here. Just want to make sure that I didn't miss any cat shines that are just like tucked away at the very starting area. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, let's go back. I really missed the triple jump, but I guess I'll have to get used to not having triple jump for this adventure. Yeah, probably should have let uh, Fury Bowser destroy that. So they've composed new music for this adventure as well. It's not recycling music from 3D Worlds. As much as I like that game's soundtrack, it's nice to hear something a bit different. Right, so let's continue. I can see there's a whole new area ahead of me and there's like a cat shine in the distance. I actually see two cat shines. Now it's time for everybody's favourite character in the Mario universe. It looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. Mario, Dad is out of control. I don't know what happens. <laughs> Look at Mario looking all serious. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. I can't change Dad back by myself. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a new problem. I'd never ask for your help, never ever. But I'll do anything to save Papa, so help me, Mario. No! You go fuck it yourself! You put me in jail, you asshole! Uh. None. <laughs> You've asked Bowser Jr. not to help to change this, press the plus button in the menu. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. If you share two Joy-Cons, yeah, that's co-op modes. I, I might have him help me a little bit, but to be honest, I don't think I need the help. You can probably tell I'm not a big fan of Bowser Jr. Like, I, I just really don't like the character. I see that we've got Cat Goombas now. Scamper Shores. So what is the name of this whole region? Because there's like a name for it. It's like named after like cats or something. Ooh, this music is slapping. I think there might have been a cat shine up there actually. Yep, there's a cat shine. Cat shine number. Uh, oh, wait a minute, that's like five pieces. Right, I see. I was gonna say cat shine number two, but we're not quite there yet. So apparently, you can stockpile lots of power ups in this game. Like, in, in, the, in Mario 3D World, if you're playing by yourself, you can have, like, one holdover item. But in this game, you can have up to, I think, like, four different items in, in reserve. So that's going to be interesting to be able to have that much stuff. Actually, five things, and you can hold more than one of each. So that's cool. I can, I can get a shit on the power-ups after I've collected enough of them. Oh, I see there's a thing up there. Nope. 
got a mushroom. Oh, so I'm guessing these are the citizens. Okay, not gonna lie, that's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> it's like diabetes in inducing like cuteness right there. Oh shit! I, d I didn't mean to carry the cat. Sorry. Excellent! Got a few cat bills in reserve now. Again, it's weird just like playing like a new Mario experience that's like using the Mario 3D World engine and assets. Because after playing Mario Odyssey like almost four years ago, you'd think they would have done something with that. Right, so that's my second shine, my cat sprite thing. Second, I almost said shine sprite. This isn't Mario Sunshine. It's Mario Cut Cat Shine. The lighthouse wants to bring something to light. That splotchy goop will vanish under the light of a cat shine. But some cat shines are a bit shy. If you can't find one, try looking for another islands. Islands with lighthouses are usually hiding something. Get up to a high spot and look for one nearby. Uh oh. That can only mean one thing. There he is! Where was that spot that I saw that I can destroy with, like, Bowser's Fire Blast? I'm gonna go back there and have that destroyed. So yeah, every once in a while, I think it's like every 10 minutes or so, he comes around to ruin your day. Even the cheap cheap are cats in this game. Like, just everything is catified. Ah, Jesus. I don't know where that spot was with the... Because like, I saw a bunch, bunch of Bowser blocks, but I don't remember where I saw that. Is there a map I can look at to see where everything is, or do I just have to, like, explore? Because I'm not sure if there's a map system, like, in, you know, like, some other Mario games, like Odyssey, for example. There is. Press minus. Ah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Right, I think I've got my bearings now. Oh. Shit. Well, there he goes. I mean, cool that he's going away, but I was wanting him to destroy something for me, but I guess that's going to have to wait. Alright, bye Bowser. Thank you very much, Pixel, for the host. I'm quite liking this so far. This is really, this is really neat. Sorry. <laughs> whoops. I say whoops like I, that was an, an accident. I knew exactly what I did there. It's alright. It'll, re it'll respawn. That's right. We're doing an Undertale genocide run, ladies and gentlemen. Kill all the cats. <laughs> right, I'll stop now. I'll stop.
Right, let's continue. Let's finally move on now. That's the spot. Wait, let me see where that is on the map. It's over there. I'll remember that for later. Now let's continue. I'm gonna... Oh, jeez. Can I quick travel? I'm assuming you can quick travel, but you've got to get to the quick travel hotspots first. Oh, okay. No? Right, okay then. Oh, fuck. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Oh, there's a... There's a cat shine. Or cat shine piece. Okay, I didn't mean to grab that one. I'm assuming you cannot swim in water in this game, like you just go to the surface of it. I know that in this game you have to get Plessy to go from island to islands, but I don't have Plessy yet. Gonna have to look for him. More cat bells than I know what to do with. Oh, oh no, oh, don't you dare fall. Oh, fuck. The easiest platforming challenges, and I'm, I can't fucking play baby games. Alright, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's try that again. Hopefully, not mess up this time. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be a baby to play baby games. <laughs> Mario, please. I'm trying to stand atop the lighthouse. I could just do that, that works. Right, let's see a couple more lighthouses nearby, I guess I'll go for that one. I think I missed one cat shine piece, but I'm gonna- I'll come back for that. I'm assuming the game will remember I picked up the other four. Fort Flap Trap. Cat bullies? Oh god, even the bullies in this game are like cats. Yep, there they are. <laughs> They're all fluffy and everything. Jesus. Oops. I'm guessing the coins are important. Since I just lost every single one.
Ah, shit. Big boy's coming back. Bye. Oh, no! <laughs> Evil witch? Okay, this is new. Am I supposed to take him down? Gotta not come out. Oh god, the cats are evil. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was the last thing that was looking for. Well, I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this game. But I'm really enjoying it so far, so it's a lot of fun. Oh, I could just bounce on that. There we go. Catch shine number three. So, do I have infinite lives? Yeah. It's like Mario Odyssey in the sense that there's like no life counter. You do? That's good to know. Now let's go back to the cat bullies now. It's better if I just do this. There we go. I like how the the least aggressive method was the most like you know, the most like successful one. Whereas when I went full aggro I just killed myself like twice. If you have a Bowser amiibo, you might want to keep that handy to summon the Fury Bowser. I actually do have a Bowser amiibo that I suppose I could do, that I could use. Also, there's another Shine token. Shine piece. What was the... Is there a terminology for, like... Um, like I don't know if there's, like, a word for, like, one of the Shines that's, like, five pieces. Like, is it just a Shine piece or what? Because I keep calling it a Shine piece. Cat Shine Shard. Yeah, that sounds about right. Lighthouse has some light news for you. Collecting coins will be worth your while. You'll get a power-up each time you collect 100 coins. You can store up to 5 of each power-up as well. That's sure to come in handy during your adventures. Grab some coins and pocket a few extra power-ups. Oh, so that's what the coins are for. Speaking of power-ups, I spy one here. There's a shard. So I watched a bit more Futurama today. I knew, like, people are probably going to be like, I knew he was going to say that. Because I've been saying that a lot on my streams lately. 
But yeah, I've just been binging more of Season 5. And the most recent episode I watched was the one with the Space Bees. Pretty fucking good episode, that one. Like, that's like one of the better ones of the series. So it won't, it won't be too long before I reach the end of Season 5 and start watching the movies. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Well, it's a big Giga Bell. I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was when the beast rises, the Giga Bell will ring or something. Maybe we gotta get those splotch, the splotchy goop off first. Maybe some more cat shines might do the trick. In the meantime, I'll just take this offering. I'll take that offering of coins from the Elder Gods. <laughs> this week on Future, I'm talk with Mel. Ooh, big spring. I guess that, that shard blocked my shots. I don't know what power up I just got there, but I got 100 coins. Placing music is a real banger. Oh, I can't wait to heal that one then. I'm assuming Kon Konji Kondo once again is like composing the music for this game. Or, I guess I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. Like, he composed the music for this. He composes everything, Mario. I see a cat shard over there. Nice. I love how much of a playground feel this whole thing has so far, where it's just like you go do, you just go wherever and do whatever. Kind of reminds me of Mario Odyssey in a little bit because it's more open-ended, but Mario Odyssey it was still like uh, self-contained worlds. It wasn't like fully open worlds, but this entire game, from what I understand, is like a full open world with like no loading screens or anything. The only limitation being that you have to travel island to island using Plessy. But other than that, it's pretty much like full late rain for you to do weather. Which I like. See a shadow of a ring there. Oh, right, okay. Oh, here comes Bowser again. Shit, where did I see that thing? I think it was over here. There it is. Oh. Nice. I'll be taking that if you don't mind. Now I've got five of them.
I see he's got a health bar as well. It went down a little bit there. That was a very quick encounter. You have collected five cat shrines. A message is ringing from the Gigabell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. Right, so next time he comes around, I'm going to go and activate that. I guess that'll be the first boss fight. Apparently you fight Bowser three times in this. And the, th the fifth the, th the third time, if I can get my words out, uh, will be the one at 50 shines. Well, let's finish getting these ups. I keep accidentally picking them up because holding the run button also grabs things that you run across. New area and a new shine. Here's a light hint from the lighthouse. If you want to avoid the beast's fury blasts, find some cover to hide behind. There's also special a special block on each island that can be broken only by fury blasts. Try to find them when disaster strikes, and there may be something hiding. Yeah, just did, I literally just did that. Oh. I see an island in the far off distance there in the sky, you see that? Oh no, I should I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, I can just do that instead. That would have been so cool if I actually nailed that landing, but whatever. Blue coin bustle. Hello, what's this? Ah. Good. Oh, I see they don't want to interact with me when I'm not Cat Mario. Let's have a little look over here then. Oh, what's this? Golden pipe? Ah, we get to hear this brilliant music from Mario 2 again. Oh, hey, I got a Tanuki leaf. Kinda funny how my first Tanuki Leaf isn't actually from a power-up drop, but because I got 100 coins. Right, so where should I go next? I guess I'll go check out that Gigabell now, it's right there. Actually, I can't quite do that yet, I need to wait for Bowser to come back. But I think we're right on cue for that. Yeah, I'll just wait here for him to appear. Mario looks very shiny.
great time to become a cat super saiyan. So yeah, they briefly showed this in the trailer, but I don't actually know how this boss fight goes because I've not seen it in action beyond that. But it looks kind of silly. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, diving right in his face was probably not the best idea. Also, this is really cool that you can just see all the islands now. <laughs> like, the fact that you can see all the islands just miniaturizes a really cool effect. Yeah, I want to take some cover behind the islands. Oh! Oh no! I'm dead. I tried to do the mid-air diving thing. It doesn't work when you're giant. Simba versus Godzilla. The bell respawns during this fight. I didn't even notice that. Can I grab him by the tail? No. Oh, Jesus. Would have been cool if I could just grab him by the tail and just swing him around. You know, so long, Gabe Bowser and all that. Oh. There we go. So yeah, it's not really that difficult. I say that as someone who ends up dying to him the first time, but it's a relatively simple boss fight. So long, Gay Bowser. So I think when you do that, it opens more of the worlds. So some of the black goop goes away and then you can finally start island hopping to other areas. I say finally like I've been playing this for hours, I've only been playing for like 40 minutes. Not even 40 minutes even, it's more like 35 minutes. But yeah, there's, there's a couple new areas down there. And there's Plessy. Right, so I'll get to hear the new Plessy music then. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake, but trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splotchy stuff went away, so there'll be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get going. Hurry up, Mario! Oh yeah, there's a whole new area to explore now. Bowser Jr. has more to say. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something important. If you get lost, just press the minus or the right on the D-pad to bring up the map. Right, before we do that, wasn't there... I saw something over here that I want to... Oh, that's a big cat. Oh, do I have to bring one of the small cats to that? Yeah, there it is. Well, that was easy. I bet some of these missions will be more difficult later, like finding the small cat for the big cat. I just want to see what's over here first because I didn't properly explore this area, then I'm going to ride on Plessy. A 
bet that's on a timer. Yep. It's cool that it actually shows you how many seconds you've got left. Right, well that was easy. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go to placing now. I just wanted to see what that button did. got the ring now. I'm going to hold on to that ring and I'm going to replace... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to store that one so that I can use the cat suit for now. Oh. I would assume it wants me to go this way. Yeah, this music's pretty good. I think this was the music they used in the trailer as well. Did I just fucking destroy a tree with Plessy's head? I like how the inner tubes are all spiky. Oh. Thank you. Again, gonna stockpile that one for now. Okay, that's that's pretty cool actually. Nice. That's what I wanted. The cat suits seem easier to find, so I'm just going to go back to this for now. Just so I can keep my rings and tanukis for later. Yep, you can destroy trees. Speaking of cat bells, there's just one sitting there for some reason. I'll do I'll take that. So yeah, I'm wondering when the next like main Mario game is coming out. This music sounds familiar. Where have I heard this before? Was this music also in the trailer, or is this from something else? Ah, shite. I done goofed. Oh, there we go. Last one, and jump. Got it. I like that these islands are like a series of like mini challenges. And 
And then there's another one. F fantastic. I feel like Giga Bowser's gonna show up shortly. Um, Fury Bowser, sorry. It has been almost, like, five minutes since he was last here. Excuse me. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. The lighthouse wants to shed some light on something. Do you know about snapshot modes? It's a great way to capture memories during your adventure. Just press down to freeze the action and take snapshots. You know, I haven't actually been doing like photo mode that much as much as I like that feature in like video games. Again, I, ju I just forget that's even a thing here. But yeah, you can... Oh wow, look at the frame rate. <laughs> the frame rate really tanks when you go into photo mode. It's like 15 frames per second now. It's cinematic. Uh, which button removes the, the HUDs? Oh, if you don't press anything, it does it by itself. I'm just glad that the, the main game, like, despite being more open-ended, still runs at a smooth 60. It would be, like, it'd be really hard to go back to a Mario platformer that runs at 30 FPS. Yep, we got Koopa Cats as well. Yep, <laughs> that just looks weird. Oh fuck! I thought I was Cat Mario there for a second. I tried to dive slash. I'm a moron. Uh, that buffering might not just be you. It seems like I'm dropping a bunch of frames as well. My router is not being nice to me today. Let me try lowering the bitrate to mitigate that somewhat. One second. I'm going to try lowering that by about 500. Um... Yeah, my internet is misbehaving right now. I restarted the router before I streamed. Okay, well, lowering the bitrate doesn't seem to be helping too much. I'll leave it like that for now to see if it does. Nah, it's, it's going in the red anyway. Right, so I'm going to have to turn the stream off and back on. You'll have to wait for a few minutes while I try and fix this. Sorry guys, my internet is just not having any of it. So stick around while I try to restart my, my router and fix my internet. You know what the best part of this playthrough has been so far? Being able to being able to not play it for ten minutes, it's great. Right, let's continue. Sorry about that. My internet shat the beds. So what the fuck else is new? Oh, so this is new. Ah, okay, that's cool. I like that they've added some new things and they're not like solely relying on like three D world mechanics and ideas. Intel shell. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone in chat mentioned that earlier. I was going to do that next time I saw a Koopa. Kind of reminds me of New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. Right, so is everything working fine? Yeah, you guys can actually see this without any issues. Because I haven't dropped any frames so far. I'm going to keep the OBS frame counter up for now. Just in case it starts to, like, misbehave again. Sometimes the only way to fix it is to, like, turn the internet connection off for, like, a solid five minutes. I see a tiny bit of droppage, but not too much. We're gonna have to find a way up there. I'll come back to that. I'm 
guessing this is a cat shane challenge. Yep. I don't need to get all the rings, but I'll try and get all the rings anyway. Insert Super Mario Superman 64 joke here, I guess. Oh, I missed a couple. The hell I got the shine anyway. Oh shit, evil Weege is back. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Ouija. Hey, fuck you, Ouija. Yeah, how do you like me now? <laughs> Fury Shadow by the Shore. Right, well, that's all the cat shines in this region, in this location. So I was watching Newswave today on YouTube. Like I usually watch that every weekday morning, like when I wake up. And they talked about how the PlayStation has like a, a sale going on right now. And one of the things they're selling, like or a big discount, is like the Grand Theft Auto trilogy, which is like three Vice City and San Andreas on the PS4. And I honestly didn't know those three games were on the PS4, so I'm kind of tempted to pick them up. If I buy them, would anyone watch me stream at least one of those games? Because I haven't, like, the only one I've played properly is, like, the third one. And I like that game. Like, at this point, I've kind of given up on, like, Grand Theft Auto coming to, like, Switch. Because I was hoping GTA V was coming to Switch at some point. The, that's, that doesn't seem to be happening. Like, Rockstar just doesn't give a shit about the Switch, it seems like. I'm back on this island again. Just grabbing those coins. Let's get the fuck out of here. I like that you can write Plessy in the middle of this. Holy shit. Please tell me you destroyed that cut. Oh, come on. Bullshit. I wanted to try and not get hit there while having him destroy that. I should have just stood on top of it. Right, so let's see. Oh, cat bell. So let's see what else we can do. I guess I'll head back up that way. I went back to this area. Somehow. Oh yeah, because I was doing that one mission with Plessy. That's why I came back here. Right, well I'm not dropping frames anymore. So it seems like my internet's holding steady. I dropped a little bit of frameage, but it was like negligible numbers. So it doesn't really matter. You know what I should do, like, if I had the motivation and drive to do it? Like, once I'm done watching, like, binging all of Futurama on Disney+, Plus, I should put together my top 10, like, favourite episodes. Because I'm not even sure what my favourite episode of Futurama is. I'd have to, like, go over all the episodes and figure that one out. And yes, this is your, this is your regular, like, Futurama, sp uh, Futurama talk with Mel. Mel. 
future Emma to me is like Blade Runner to Vinny, so I guess take your shots. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Oh, was I supposed to kill all of them? Shit, I missed one. I'm gonna try that again. I knew I should have went back for that one that I missed. Oh. Yeah, hopefully if I do, a top 10 thing would be more entertaining than that. Like, I don't mind top 10s as long as they're, like, well edited and well written. Mine's will be neither. Nope. I always miss one on that turn for some reason. There we go. So already I can take on Bowser again. Fury Bowser. Nope, can't break that. That would have been cool if I could just smash right through the balls. Not quite. I'm sure if I time that just right, I can grab that. Or I could just do that, sure. Go with flow. What the fuck is a flow? So yeah, in terms of the PlayStation 2 either Grand Theft Auto games, I played 3 all the way through on a number of occasions, like years ago. And I played a bit of uh, Vice City, but I never finished it. I didn't get anywhere close to finishing that. I've never played San Andreas, I've heard that's the best one. There we go. Oh no, I know it's referencing Go With The Flow, but what what is F-L-O-E? Like, what is that referencing exactly? Like, you think that would be the name of an enemy or something, but I don't know what it was referencing exactly. Oh. Oh, Bowser time. Is there an indicator showing me where the Bowser blocks are? Because I don't know if it tells you that. Because I've been trying to remember where I saw the Bowser blocks last. Well, I see Bowser blocks there. Thank you. Right, let's go fight Bowser now. Oh, never mind. Alright, bye Bowser. <laughs> I didn't realise that would activate a lighthouse. 
next time, next time I'll get him. But hey, at least I got the the, the shine. Now let's continue going where I was going. I think I saw like a random item block over here. Wherever it was. Trickety tower. So close shit so far. Ah, I see. I think I remember them briefly showing this during the, the trailer. Me just playing baby games horribly. This is a really cool idea, this. No, can't, can't cheese it. I'll get the the shards later. I just want to get that lighthouse activated before Bowser gets here. Right, so where's the Giga Cat Bill? Oh, it's over there. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that was a weird blur effect. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or intentional. Right, well, we've barely been playing for over an hour and we're already fighting the second form or the second phase of, like, Fury Bowser. Which is weird. Again, it's a short experience. But I will try to get all 100 cat shines on this. But yeah, his health bar is much bigger this time. 
Plus I didn't really do that much to his health bar when I was like exploring the worlds. Shockwave. <laughs> I can't do the long jump, but I can do a crouching jump. Oh no, I can do a long jump. Wouldn't it be funny if you could just like destroy the islands? I mean, if you destroyed the island, you wouldn't be able to get the, you know, the shines. So I haven't quite defeated Bowser there, but I did do a good bit of damage to him. Alright, see you later Bowser. Also, there's a little pixelated Bowser Jr. That's cool. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Oh, I can't believe he ran away again. I mean, um, Dad's the best at everything. Of course he knows how when it's time to retreat. <laughs> this Gigabell is all splotchy again. We need more cat shines. Maybe we'll find some hiding on the islands we've already visited. Let's go find out. I only need one more. I'm gonna go back and get those uh, shards that I saw over here. I only collected one of them, I think. I like how you can actually see the tower now. Oh, fuck. Wait, no, that's not the tower, was it? It was over here. Yeah, that other tower was the lighthouse, my bad. So I got two of the, th the, the shards already, so I'm just missing two molders. There they are. I know where they are, I just don't know how to get to them yet.
Nice. Right, so that activates that lighthouse. I see a question mark down there that I can activate. Lighthouse has a suggestion for you. Okay. Right, well, you can't store any more than five power-ups, so I guess I'll just use this boomerang. Try to make that lighthouse shine while wait for Bowser to come back. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This I, I, I like the structure of this game. I see the hidden cat. This sounds similar to the. Fuck! I forgot the the name of that thing. Fuck, you know that area in Mario Odyssey with like the little ghost things? What, what's that place called again? Kinda sounds like that music. It's been a few years since I played that game, I forgot the name of it. The Cap Kingdom, yeah, it sounds like Cap Kingdom music. I don't know where that big cat is. Can I carry... Am I allowed to carry this while raiding Plessy or do I just drop him? Oh. You can? Right, that's good to know. Wait, no you can't. Vine Jeep. I'm holding... Hmm. It's a jeep. Yeah, I don't know what people are talking about. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being japed right now. I guess that's what's going on. Oh. Not sure where the big big goo cat is. I'm gonna go look for him. Should be around here somewhere, I think. Oh. Oh, I can't. I can't. Hmm. I'll deal with that later then. I can't carry the cat while using this. You've done it before, you can ride with the cat. So wait a minute, do I have to hold the cat or do I have to like toss the cat on to place his back? Like what am I doing wrong? Stop tossing it. Uh, well, I wasn't tossing it when I jumped on the Plessy's back. I was still holding the Y button to hold it. But for some reason, Mario dropped it anyway. Nope. Yeah. I think we're due for a Bowser encounter very shortly. At least I found a shortcut pipe so I can go back up there more easily. 
Right, let's return to the Giga Bell then, because I can't quite do this at the moment. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna get him to get rid of this first. Thank you. There's gonna be a gap here, isn't there? Nope, no gaps, surprisingly. Next time I'll, I'll get him. At least I got that cat shine out of the way. Curious about this little location. Oh, that was cool. Like Windmill Island. No shines over there, though. No shines over here, rather, where I just was. You can ride a floating ice block. Oh. So, yeah, let me try and figure this out. Let me... Let's bring... let me bring Plessy on to land. <laughs> Mario, please! Yeah, I don't get it. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Apparently you can bring the cat with you on Plessy's back, but it doesn't seem to be working for me. Right, okay then. Well, I guess I'll just have to do it the other way. You have seen people raid Plessy. Maybe I've got to be Cat Mario for this to work. Nope. Also, I just wasted my boomerang that I had there. Oh, die! All right, bye, cat. Just completely demolish those question mark blocks.
All right, time for another fight with Big Bows. So yeah, this is I can see why people like this experience a lot. It's, it's a really cool idea. I'm, de I'm definitely getting a kick out of this. I'm assuming you'll have some new attacks this time around. Okay, that's new. Da! I'm not sure how often that Gigabell comes back, if it ever even does come back. I do see another cat bell in the distance, I guess I'll go for that. Oh, you... Whoa, what the... I can actually carry these? I'm going to get punished for doing that. I wanted to smack him in the face with that, but I guess that's going to have to wait until next time. There we go. Right, so the next one will be at 50, or, well, it'll be a bit before 50, and then 50 will be the last one. I don't think I'll get 50 cat uh, shines tonight, but I can get most of the way there. Oh, and that's. I really hope we could change. We would change him back this time. I mean, of course he didn't. Nobody shrugs off a hit from Mario better than my papa, after all. Come on, let's find the way up the waterfall to look for more cat shines. All right, so now the entire world has opened up. Fantastic. Right, time to check out the new areas.
Yeah, with the Great there's too many moons in Odyssey. I mean, it gives you plenty of stuff to do, but there's definitely a little bit of case of like quantity over quality in that. But no, it's not to say that the game definitely didn't have quality behind it. But they could have easily made it like 500 moons, and that would have been plenty. Like you could tell they were like stretching for 999, and even then. I mean, te technically it's not even on 999 moons, it's like 800 and something. And you have to like buy the rest of the moons through the store, but still, it's way too many moons. But yeah, about 500 I feel like would have been the sweet spot. 880 unique moons, yeah, you had to buy the last 119 moons. Like, I actually... 100% of that game. Like, I streamed that game all the way until I got every single moon. Up here comes Evil Weed again. No star in there. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. Get fucked, Luigi. Yeah, Mario Odyssey was full of like dopamine hit uh, moments in it. It was really good. But yeah, it's a bit unfortunate that the game had padding in it, but I still think that game is amazing. I was really hoping Nintendo would make like a, Ma a Mario Odyssey 2, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Like, if we were going to get a Mario Odyssey 2, it would have came out by now. I I'm pretty sure the turnaround would have been like less than three years for that, and the game came out almost four years ago. So whatever Nintendo's next 3D Mario game is going to be, I don't think it's going to be an Odyssey 2. I think it's going to be an entirely different experience. There we go, another cat shine. I'm not sure if my momentum is going to be reset as soon as I get control again. Nope, it continues, that's good. I was worried my momentum was going to stop there and I would just drop straight down into the water. But yeah, I don't know when the next Mario 3D Mario game is going to be coming out. Probably not this year. I think this year will be Breath of the Wild 2. Like in terms of like a big like triple A game from Nintendo. And then I guess next year we'll be getting the next like 3D Mario entry, whatever that's going to be. Oh, 
Oh, can I not bounce on that with Plessy? That sucks. Rolling roller aisle. All right. See, we've got a lava centric area this time, which is a little bit refreshing for an area that's predominantly, like, you know, covered in water. Nice. Yeah, cat bombs. I don't care if I lose if I lose coins. They're not that important. Don't mind me, I'm just waiting for this to get up here. I'll get those shots later. Want to see more of this island for now? I say those shards, but there might have only just been one on that platform, but I don't want to risk touching the lava again. Jeez. Oh no. Oh fuck. I don't I can't see where I'm going. I'm dead. Yep. I'm not sure how frequent they checkpoint you on these islands. No, there's no checkpoints, right? So I've just got to get all the way up there without dying. Not that it's that difficult to get up there, mines. I mean, after me doing like the that thing the the champions rode last night oh I need to bring up a bomb with me. Oh, there's a bomb box right there. Didn't see that before. Sorry, Bowser Jr. Starting to feel a bit more Mario Galaxy-ish, this platforming challenge. Like a mix of Mario Galaxy and those Mario Sunshine-like floodless sections. 
Oh no! That was unfortunate. I get to keep the shards that I pick up, right? Like, I don't lose them if I die. You do? Right, that's good. See a hidden thing down there. No, too far away. I'll get that on the way back out. Oh yeah, I still do have the, the shine sprite shard things. Cat shine shards. It's going to take me a while to get used to saying that. Cat shine shards. I might as well grab the one that's here then. Oops. Not at all what I was trying to do there, but that works. There we go. Apparently I missed the first one. Yeah, I did notice that the first slot was like empty, so I'm gonna go back down and look for that. Yeah, you can see it right there. This lighthouse just had a bright idea. Have you ever tried using Amiibo? If you hold the the left button and, uh, and tap an amiibo on your controller, you can get items or cause special things to happen. I'm not going to scan that Bowser amiibo tonight, I'm too lazy to go get it. Uh, maybe next time I play this I'll have it ready. I didn't even notice, like, I, I know everything is a cat in this game, but I didn't even realise that he had, like, cat ears. Oh, okay then. Served me right for grabbing that, that cat. Wouldn't it have been great if I landed right on Plessy's back? Oh, 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 oh. See that sludge? I'm dead. Dead, 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 dead. But um, I feel like the Mario 3 death music is like the most condescending death music in any Mario game. I know that's a weird thing to say, but it kinda has that tone to it. It's like it's mocking. It's like. Da da ha ha ha, you died. It's like that sort of thing. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, I'll reset that. I'm just looking for something. Turns out that thing I was looking for was not there. Uh, let me go activate that question mark over there before I go for this shine. I did say I was going to grab this. Okay.
There we go. Hot cross run. What was that lighthouse that I saw? Was it down or was it up? Yeah, it's up there. But this is like very addicting, this little game. I quite like this so far. I'm glad I held off until I like played most of 3D World because that was like you know an old game that I played like years ago. Granted, I haven't finished 3D World yet. I will go back and try to do Champions Road and the last few things that I couldn't quite finish. But for now, I'm quite content like starting this game up now that I've seen most of 3D World again. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that actually. Yoshi's Crafted World makes it feel humiliating to die, even if it's not a Mario game. Just seeing the game over pop up in the game doesn't even... That doesn't even have lives to begin with. I didn't play that much of Crafted World, to be honest. I didn't like that game. Like, I loved Yoshi's Bully World, but I didn't really care much for Crafted World for some reason. Like, that one kind of felt mediocre by comparison. See, I was, like, I thought I was the only one that felt that way, but then I saw, like, Kadikris did a video of that, like, years ago. There's the last cat shine thing. So it's on, it's on the rotating thing, whatever it's called. The big rotating platform it's on. But yeah, Kadikris did a video years ago, like, talking about why Yoshi's Willy World was far better than Yoshi's Crafted Worlds. I kind of kind of wish Willy World was on the Switch to be honest. Like I would buy that again. It's like one of the few Wii U games that's not on the system. Oh, wait a minute, am I supposed to jump down onto that? There we go. Yeah, hopefully the next time Goodfield makes a Yoshi game, I hope it's a good one. Like, Goodfield does put out good stuff. Unfortunately, Crafted World was not one of them. Like, that one... I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but it definitely felt like a step backward after uh, Willy Worlds. Am I supposed to wall jump my way back up? I guess I am. Oh. Fuck it. Yeah, it's just quicker if I just kill myself to go back to the spawn point. You can jump on the metal thing and ride up. Oh, I see. Classic example of me overthinking things. Guess I have to defeat all the enemies here to open that one.
What is this? Oh, that's the that's the stem. I thought that was like a, a vegetable like thing where you could like pull out a vegetable, you know, from like Mario Two. Can't smash it. Forty to awaken this time. Yep, that doesn't that's not happening tonight. Yeah, fuck you. No, it's perfectly justified. You can't say this isn't justified cat killing. Oh! Tried to hide there, couldn't do it. Poor Bowser Jr. Getting fried to, to cinders. Well, Bowser's going mental with the fire breathing right now. <clears throat> Watch him go away now. Yep! I knew he was going to fucking leave after that. Finally find a breakable thing and then it's like, okay, I'm gone. Bye. Right, so let's see, where have I not gone yet? Yeah, there's a few lighthouses I've not finished yet. Right, I'll go for this lighthouse. Which direction is Mario facing? It's facing south. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I'm holding the controller in a weird position right now because I want to be able to control the camera while having access to all the buttons that I need. It's hard to explain how I'm holding the controller right now, but basically my right thumb is use it, like, using the right analog stick. Oh. I'm not going that way anyway. Lighthouse over there. Right, so I haven't lit up this lighthouse. I guess we'll do that now. Oh, I need to get the propeller thing. Ah! 
I guess there's no more propellers up here. Oh no, there's one. Alright, we're good. Oh, that's satisfying that when you actually succeed that. When you when you successfully just you know, stomp them all in one go. That's a good little bit of dopamine right there. It's a little bit platforming area this, like going around this windmill tower. Shit. There we go. Nice. <laughs> He's still inside the block when he does his victory pose. I'm gonna head off by the time I reach 30 shine, you don't want to watch too much of this before you start it yourself. I mean, to be fair, you've watched pretty much most of the experience at this point since this game's quite short. But I understand. I haven't seen Vinny play this yet. I'm gonna like once I'm done with most of Bowser's Fury, I'm gonna like start watching him play that. The lighthouse has got one final tip for you. Have you checked the guides? They'll show you how to perform special actions, offer useful information, and teach basic info on how to play. I'm not gonna like I don't really use the guides in general, but I want to check one thing if the game even tells you that. No, it doesn't seem to tell you how to get the cat on Plessy. Let's go get those cat shine shards before Bowser comes here. Oh! secret. I think all my inventory is about to get fill filled up now. Well, I've got, for some reason, I've only got three mushrooms. But everything else is about full. So wait, what happens if I go back in there again? It's just empty. You'd think the first golden pipe would disappear after you've went in there once. Yeah, I think Bowser's about to hatch out of that shell again. Like, like Bowser Jr. getting swept away by that propeller. I'll help you. Oh wait, what's going on? Ah, just getting pushed, <laughs> pushed away. Right, well, I guess 
I'll go and look for a spot where I can destroy blocks. Um, no you? There we go, I think there's like one more. There at like Plessy's goofy face while I wait for this. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Yeah, almost. I'm pretty sure it's possible to get up there, if I angle that right. I don't know if I even need momentum here, maybe I can do it without that. Yep, there we go. Ah, yes! Though I missed. That's fine, I know how to get up there now. Oh. I could use the cat suit, but I wanted to see if I could do it without it. Can't, can't actually. Mm. Fuck it. I have to get rid of that now anyway because I can't like do the the diving thing as the tanuki. We can just pretend I grabbed it the first time around. Right, one more shine. The next one's at thirty, is it not, or is it forty? I don't know if I can even get up there right now. I mean, I could try. Yep, I can get up here without getting rid of that goop. That's fine. I'm sure if there's a cat shine shard down there. I like how you can kinda skip certain parts of the game if you like have the skill to like get around it. I'm not sure if the devs intended that you could do that, but it is possible.
Oh, I can't actually move when I do that. Yeah, I do enjoy some good cheese. Right, so I'm gonna hide that OBS uh, stats thing because my internet seems to be fine now, thankfully. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what the photo mode button was. <laughs> Mario's face. Okay, this might be the thumbnail. <laughs> Mario's just like completely uninterested or... Oh, wait a minute, is that bedroom eyes Mario's doing? Oh, no. I think Mario's going after that pussy. Yeah, that's a bad joke, I know, I don't care. I keep forgetting how you hide. Oh, right, you have to not press anything, then it does that. <laughs> quality, quality commentary on my streams. Even more quality than Vine Sauce. Alright, thanks for dropping by and watching. I hope you have a good day and hopefully you enjoy this as much as I am because this is really fun. So yeah, we're over a quarter of the way there, we're nearly like a third of the way through, like getting all the all the cat shines. So at this rate, it probably will take me like three streams to do this. I'm missing one shine shard at the very bottom, I think. Oh, so this is the first time I've seen the, the fire bros here. Alright, I've got five of everything except mushrooms. There's the last shard. Oh. I think this is where I go. Yep, there is. I thought that other pipe would have taken me there. It kind of like misleads you. I think I'll uh, actually do maybe like one or two more shards or shines and then I'm gonna stop. But yeah, this is this is a shit ton of fun. This this is like genuinely great. Bowser be coming back. Any Bowser blocks around this area, I wonder? Yep, there's some Bowser blocks. Where's Bowser coming from this time? Over there. Thank you. Wait, did I not do this one already? Oh no, this is different. I didn't mean to do that! I panicked there because I saw a fireball about to touch me up. Oh. There we go. Nice. So long, gay Bowser. Right, one or two more of these shines, and then I'm gonna move on to Immortals for a bit. But yeah, this is this is really addictive. I love the gameplay loop of this, and it does seem like this is something of a window into the future of Mario. It seems like future Mario games are going to be taking a page from this idea. 
because this is like a little bite-sized experience based off of like something much bigger than Odyssey in terms of like the structure, and I really like what I'm seeing so far. I guess I'll finish off by doing this mission of this section of the islands. Back off Cat Prince Bully. Oh jeez. There we go. Love this music for the lava area. I saw something there, but I don't know what that was. Bowser Jr. getting hit by every single thing that's like coming along. Oh, it's a shortcut, right. I'm glad they had some like little shortcut pipes for certain islands so you can get to the higher parts quicker, like once you've already done it once. Don't see any anything worthwhile there. Right, so I missed two. I'm gonna go back for them later. I'll just finish this obstacle course for now, and maybe I'll go back and get them before I move on to the next game. Oh. <laughs> I love that you can just ground pound multi-coin blocks. Yes, even the mini boss has become a cat in this in this game. No, was that green star? Oh wait, wrong game. Excellent. Right, I'll go back and look for those two shards, and then I'm gonna stop after that. I say that, and then I'll be like one more after that. But no, I will stop after I get those last two shards that I missed. But yeah, we're now roughly a third of the way through the game in terms of like getting every single shine 
just under a thoughts. Oh, I see something that I didn't see before. Thank you. See if I can get those two shards before Bowser shows up. There's one. <laughs> Thanks for the boost, Bowser Jr. around for the cat shine. Oh. Ah, shit. Too late. It's gonna wait for him to blow that up. I'm guessing there's a shine in there as well. There we go. I heard it blowing up. Yep, it's a shine. I hear it sparkling. Alright, see you later, Bowser. Right, let's go get that. <laughs> let's go get that last shard. So that was an incidental one. Like, I wasn't intending on getting that, but Bowser just so happened to show up, so I just grabbed it. Right, what's well, the third one, so it must be after this point. There it is. Somehow didn't see that the first time. Right, okay then, well that's 35 shines, so we're already over a third of the way through the game. So I think that's going to be a good place to stop. I'm assuming the game auto-saves after every cat shine. I think it does. Because I did see the little saving thing. Yeah, it does save after that. Right, okay then. Well, I'm really enjoying this so far. This is a lot of fun. I can see why people are really, like, like talking about this a lot since this just came out. And, yeah, probably two more streams of this so I can fully get, like, every single cat shine. And eventually I'll come back to this. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying watching me play through that, because it actually is a really cool idea, like... I didn't think they would recycle Mario 3D Worlds and its assets and, like, engine to, like, make something like this. I thought they would, like, do something with Odyssey. But I, I don't... I'm not opposed to the idea. I do like what they've done with this, and... Like, I, like I've been saying, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I'm bad with words. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to wrap this up, but I, I, I do like it. It's a, it's a pretty neat little game. <laughs>